and welcome to Highway, which this week finds us down by the seaside in Bogdan Regis. Not, as you might imagine, for a breath of fresh sea air, but for the scent of sawdust and to meet some rather unusual people. I'd like to join in the fun, but first, I must get a taxi. Taxi? Taxi, sir? Oh, how do you do? Where are you taking me? I'd like to take you somewhere funny. Oh, what's well, after you? The colors of my life are softer than a breeze. The silver gray of down the dappled green of trees, the splendor of a sunrise, the dazzle of a flame. The glory of a rainbow I put them all to shame No quiet browns and grays I'll take my days instead And fill them till they overflow Colors of my life will leave a shining light to show the way. are much too bold In gold I find no worth I'll fill my days with sage and brown The colors of the earth And if from by my side of my life will shine a quiet light to lead her Nothing serious, I hope. It'll be as right as rain in a minute. <laughs> oh, we don't need that either. <laughs> well, we'll I, get... I don't want to worry you, but could you spare us a minute? Of course. Oh, yes, thank you. I'll fix that later. Well, yeah, right. Tell us what this clowns convention is all about. It's a gathering of clowns from all over the world. Hundreds of clowns. Uh, in fact, this year, 200. 200, uh, eh? Coming from all over the world to learn uh, from each other and exchange ideas. What about Clowns International? Clowns, Clowns International is an organisation, it was the first organisation in, in the world, in fact. It was yeah. started here in Great Britain uh, in 1949. Yeah. The first organisation to actually bring clowns together. But tell me, uh, what, what has uh, the Clowns Convention done for Bogner then? It's brought thousands of people to this, uh, this lovely seaside resort um, and made it universally uh, known all over the world as Clowns Town. <laughs> Bognor Regis, Clowns Town, the gathering place for all the clowns. Well, thanks for talking to us. I know you're going to try and fix your car up. 
I'll leave it to it. Thanks a lot. Well, while Giorgio's fixing his car, I'm going to listen to Gemma Craven, currently starring in South Pacific, singing a song which couldn't be more appropriate for this week, Send In The Clowns. Many people don't realise how much hard work a clown has to put in to perfect his act, especially with the props he uses. I'm sure the laugh of the collector is ample reward. Anyway, someone who knows all about it is Sammy Sunshine. Sammy, nice to meet you. And you, Sir Harry. <laughs> now, all this is very hard work, isn't it? It is, It yes, represents indeed. a lot of graft. Yes. My wife makes the suits, yes. the costumes, we have a go make the boots. We try and be original. Yeah. It takes hours and hours, but we do get satisfaction, as you've just said. Fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Now, the boots, for example, what are they made of? Yeah, they're made of um, fibreglass. Yeah. Um, my original boots are made of sponge, yeah. and they yeah. rotted after about a year. So I got yeah. a boat builder, we made a mould, fibreglass. A boat builder? Yeah, <laughs> fibreglass boat builder. Yes. He made the two halves for me. Yeah. I put the welly boot inside, 
poured the expanding polystyrene in yeah. and couldn't get my foot out. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's nearly a hospital to cut it back, but we got there in the end, as you can see. The yeah. cow's not in for you. Yes, yes. I think she's a little bit uncomfortable here. Uh, we bought this as a, you know, uh, standard skin, but we put the gags on it. Yeah. C can I show you? Yeah, sure. Love we're, to see it. Could you help me for a but second? But of course, yeah. We're, it's milking time because we've got coffee up for the boys. Mm. For but the of crown. course, yes. It's, it's a tail job. A tail job, yes, is it? Right. Yes, yes. Excuse me, yeah, sir. Yeah. Can you start <laughs> pumping? Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, steady, Harry, steady. Sammy, what do you expect to gain from the convention? Well, it's an opportunity to meet all our other pros, clowns in the business. As you know, they're coming from all over the world now. But it is a chance to meet clowns, uh, our pros we don't get a chance to meet while we're working. We swap ideas. Even props, ideas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes, yeah, we help each other out. You know, somebody can see a different angle and, oh, I use this, and, and uh, we find and it all rubs off. And, of course, mainly a thousand local children in the procession, that's got to be. <laughs> and they come to the shows and the yeah. feedback. It's yeah. just fantastic. Well, thank you, Sir Harry, for helping with Daisy. No bother. But you will excuse me. We, we have to go. It's coffee time for about over 200 clowns, you know, and they need feeding. Got a catering? Yes. <laughs> Would you like a chicken sandwich? Oh, thank you, yes. Oh. All for me. What about you? Oh, I have, a, I have one. Oh. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> that looks a bit high. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Clowns and music have always gone together. Very often in their seemingly ridiculous attempts to master the simplest of instruments, they make themselves the object of great mirth. Others like Raimondo, a leading European clown and skilled musical artist, have got their fun by making the simplest objects into sophisticated musical instruments. The origin of modern clowning goes back almost 200 years, when a young comedy actor, Joe Grimaldi, landed a part in a pantomime called Mother Goose. That casting immortalized both Grimaldi and the play. Over the next 40 years, he worked almost continuously, achieving immense popularity and a legendary status which influenced the careers of the likes of Charlie Chaplin, Danny Kaye, Marcel Marceau, many years on. Grimaldi was so popular that his own nickname, Joey, became synonymous for clown. He left behind a legacy of wonderful comedy and this thought to his devotees. In my solitary hours, my thoughts often dwell upon the past. And there's one circumstance which always affords me unmitigated satisfaction. It is simply that I cannot recollect one single instance in which I have intentionally wronged man, woman or child. And this gives me great satisfaction and comfort. Clowns is dominated by men, but there are exceptions. Now, underneath all that makeup, you're a lady, aren't you? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> She's Dee Dee, the clowness, children's entertainer, and ventriloquist. Now, why do you think there are so few lady clowns? Because it's a very hard job to do, and it's a man's world. Of course, it's a physically difficult job, isn't it, being a clown? It is, yes, because you've got to keep going yeah. um, at all costs. But um, I'm a mother of two children as well. So Are you? Yes, yes, so I've got those to think of as well. So. Do they laugh at you? Yes, they do. I test everything out on them. Do you? Yes. If they don't laugh, I don't use them. How did you choose your makeup, by the way? Uh, this it wasn't my original makeup. Wasn't it? My original makeup wasn't very nice at all. Wasn't it? And uh, a friend of mine helped me yeah. develop this makeup. And I feel much happier, much, confident, much more confident with this. Because it's so. very important, isn't it, the makeup? It is, because you're not sort of hiding behind it. This is actually you, yeah. and, and what it portrays is how you feel. Yeah, so it is very important to feel right, to look right. One of Bogner Regis' unique contributions to the International Crown Convention is this barbershop quartet. Did I say quartet? <laughs> Nothing of the sort because underneath all those clown costumes are 30 members of the ladies' barbershop choir called Aaron Sound. Here they are singing Laugh, Clown, Laugh. Laughing, 
of the clown convention is the mingling of clowns with children and the infectious sharing of joy and laughter. Each year, groups of clowns visit the schools and institutions in the Bogner Regis area in the build-up to the two-day festival. I'm here at South Bastard Church, and I'm going in to talk to two men, Roly Baines and Patrick Forbes. And the subject matter is one I find quite fascinating, what you might call the holiness of laughter. <laughs> Patrick and Rowley. This might be very difficult for some people to understand, but you're both Church of England vicars, aren't you? Yep. Right, yes. Now, I'll ask you first, I think. What is the role of humour in the church? Humour, Harry, is about uh, reality, it's about the truth. And uh, if, if going to church and being the church is all about gloom and doom and long faces and sober looking people, it's bad news. And uh, in, in the faith, in, in believing, there is much humour. And it's very important that that should be reflected in the church. Rowley, uh, do you think some people might consider it sacrilegious to take Holy Communion dressed as a clown? I hope not, because um, I mean I would and I have, yeah. um, and I mean th this is me. I mean part of the, the church welcomes everybody, especially clowns, because yeah. um, clowns speak of speak of God, speak of Jesus, speak of all sorts of things. So, what, what's the origin of? of, of clowns and fools in church history then? Well, it goes back beyond the church. Uh, I think the prophets of the 7th and 8th centuries BC were fools. They were truth tellers mm. and they said outrageous things and got beaten up for it. And if you think well, that's really what happened to Christ, he was a prophet, he was a fool, he told the truth as he saw it and, and look at the kind of trouble he got into. Jesus as a clown. Do you mm -hmm. see him as a clown at all? Yes, indeed, um, because a clown is about all kinds of apparent opposites. Mm -hmm. It's about life and death. He's about joy and sadness. 
He's about um, suffering and excitement and uh, a clown is always getting put down. Um, and the worst tragedy that can ever happen in a, in a circus is the clown actually does die. But most of the time, thank God, he doesn't. The clown keeps bouncing back and that is what Christians are called to do. No matter what happens to us, uh, we're supposed to bounce back. The resurrection, Christ coming back, even after death. Rowley Bain and two members of the Cavalcade Theatre Company performed their version of a paddleball for me. Oh, this is ridiculous. I only want to know how to pray. You tell me to stand up, kneel down, close my eyes, count me beads. Then you start shouting numbers at me. I don't know if I'm ordering a Chinese meal or playing bingo. It's stupid, stupid, stupid. I'm just going to talk to him. Man to God. In Latin? No, I'll just talk to him. What are you going to say? Uh, hello, God. Well, I suppose that's a start. I'm nervous. We'll help you. We'll use the words Jesus taught us. We'll start with... Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. children from the South Bearshead School singing that jubilant hymn, The Lord of the Dance. One of the unique features of any clown is his makeup. No two are alike, and each one is guarded like a hallmark. Jan Webb carries on the traditional technique of registering each clown's face print. As no makeup can be copied, it is hoped by Clowns International, who ask Jan to work for them, that this collection will become the basis of a permanent exhibition to be housed in the Clowns Gallery at their official church, Holy Trinity, in Dalston, East London. Today she's working on the face of Salvo, a clown with an interesting story to tell. Now your first clown's name was Stepright, wasn't it? That's right. And now yes. you're called Salvo. That's what right. did you change your name? Well, in about 1976, a Salvation Army officer of Rayleigh Corps, I got the opportunity to work with him, and he felt it an appropriate name, as I was a Christian, to change it to the name of Salvo. What was step right then? Well, I was working with a circus yeah. called Circus Americano, and my job on that 
show was a boom man, which means standing outside and actually asking them to step right this way. Oh, I see. <laughs> As you just said, you're a Christian, a committed Christian. How did that come about? Well, I was working with a circus that was asked to provide a circus big top for a crusade called Wait of Life Crusade, which was led by Dick Saunders in 1974. And I went with the circus unit to provide this. While I was there, I got to know the Lord Jesus and attended one of their meetings. And at the end, they asked for people to go forward. And I felt within myself that that was a necessary move to make. And since that time in life, my life has completely changed for the good, I'm glad to say. Because I had a motorbike accident in 73 which put pay to my career as a clown in the circus. And I thought that was going to be the finish. But a Christian asked me to do a, a job for him. And it went from there. And uh, it snowballed until now I've become a charity clown. But the main emphasis is that the Lord uses me to where possible to bring the word of the Lord Jesus into people's lives that may not already know him. Well, thanks very much for talking to us. The character of the broken-hearted clown occurs so often in literature and music. And probably one of the best known clowns of all is Canio in Leon Cavallo's opera I Pagliacci. I always get a very special thrill when I sing one of Grand Opera's finest arias, Vesti la Juba. Recitar mentre preso dal non so più quel che dico o quel che faccio, eppure dopo so. Vesti la giubba e la faccia in farina, la gente paga per ridere. That's all for this week, but the people I've met here have inevitably brought to my mind the beautiful clown's prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for calling me to share with others your most precious gift of laughter. May I never forget, it's your gift and my privilege. I'm not a clown, but I'd be happy to think that those words in some way apply to me. Next week, how we come to Sunderland. I'll see you then. All the best, Jojo. Bye-bye. <laughs>